Did you know that there are more parts in a tire's belt system and carcass than in a V8 engine? Or that, while it may seem that a radial tire supports weight at the bottom where it contacts the road, it's actually suspended from the top by its belt system, the area with the highest tension in the tire structure. Let's talk about the engineering behind tire belt systems and why they're vital for tire durability. Think of a tire belt system like a peanut butter sandwich. But instead of peanut butter, there are steel belts between layers of rubber compounds. The tire belt package is built in layers. First, there's a rubber compound layer on top. Then you have steel cords that are specially coated to stick to rubber as much as possible. And finally, another rubber compound layer on the bottom. The rubber compounds can be either hard or soft depending on the tire's purpose. Put yourself in the shoes of Superman for one second. If you could use X-ray vision to look through a tire, you'd see two steel belts creating an X pattern beneath the tread. Belt 1's cords run from the lower left to the upper right, while Belt 2's cords run from the lower right to the upper left. Combined with the carcass plies running shoulder to shoulder at 90 degrees, they form a triangle. Speed ratings also play a huge role in belt design. At high speeds, centrifugal force tries to make the tire grow larger. However, it can't grow any larger than the limiting diameter of the belt, or hoop. That's why high-performance tires often include nylon cap plies, which resist growth and keep the shoulder area stable during high-speed driving. From a tire engineer's perspective, it's all about balance. In a typical passenger car tire, like a 205-55 R16, the belt package and cap ply weigh about 4.4 pounds. Move up to a P235-75 R16, and you're looking at 7.7 .7 pounds. These belt systems typically represent about 30 to 35% of a tire's total weight. Remember, while tire belts are important for handling and steering response, they're also responsible for transferring power from the engine to the ground. About 85% of a tire's stiffness comes from air pressure. The remaining 15% is structural. A large portion of that 15% comes from that metal belt system. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Grass Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.